tonight. It's a controversial topic that's been hotly debated for many years. It centers over the use of stem cells to treat various illnesses. But as the debate continues on Capitol Hill, Action Force Rafael Carranza shows us how doctors just five minutes south of the border already are practicing it. He joins us live from the studio tonight. Rafael. That's right. This controversial treatment has not been approved by the FDA, but that isn't stopping Manny Valley residents from seeking this alternative, even if they have to go across the border. This is our party park. At 72 years of age, Walina Haynes considers herself a very active woman. Find a fishing dock here. With her husband, she manages a Chimney Park RV resort in Mission, right along the banks of the Rio Grande. But 18 years ago, she never saw this possible. I uh, could barely, barely walk, barely get around. I could uh, just barely speak. I had lost my speech. And of course, you know, I lost my job. Haynes suffered a stroke and was in what she calls a vegetable state. She visited different doctors looking for life-saving treatment, but it was always turned down. But that was until she found Omar Gonzalez in Nuevo Progreso. When I was actually able to go back and uh, be a human being again, or just uh, you know, a vegetable sitting there, uh, there's no way to describe. Inside this operating room on the other side of the border, Haynes found her cure, the antidote placenta stem cells. The idea is to revitalize your body, okay, and, and you know, to try to reset it in the way it was before. Dr. Gonzalez's Nuevo Progreso clinic has been open for two decades. After years of studying in Europe, he crafted his own method of what he calls stem cell therapy. It consists of an injection of human placenta stem cells underneath the skin affected by the illness. Dr. Gonzalez of Action 4 News, the average procedure lasts about 30 to 45 minutes, and it's as simple as using a local anesthetic. It has 10 times more uh, stem cells than the umbilical cord blood. Uh, that was already being done as a stem cell source. The placenta is donated immediately after birth. Dr. Gonzalez then screens it and prepares it for treatment, using only stem cells from placenta and not from human embryos. We're getting results in with Parkinson's disease, we're getting results with outer immune conditions. Uh, we're getting results in diabetic patients. Uh, we're getting results in autistic patients. And even though this procedure has not received endorsement from the FDA, it's not stopping patients like Haynes from returning and even bringing new clients. And so you've been going back ever since? Oh, haven't you? Yes. We go every year. My husband and I both, we get the placenta implant. Now, as a correction, it is a vegetative state. Now, Dr. Gonzalez admits the price for stem cell therapy is not cheap. The price goes into the thousands of dollars, but he refuses to say an exact amount. Still, he tells Action 4 News he sees about 300 patients a year, some from as far away as India and Australia. In the studio, Rafael Carranza, Action 4 News. Thank you, Rafael.